This video is intended to be a brief explanation of the features and operation of the EPIC Electrified Power Equipment System. Before operating the EPIC system, please adhere to all safety and warning labels provided in your operation manual. The EPIC system consists of the following equipment located in the vehicle. Powering the system is the Element 48 Volt 100 Amp Hour Battery. This powers the EPIC Air 20 Reciprocating Air Compressor, which connects to an air reservoir tank for air on demand storage capabilities. Next to the smart controller is a three way toggle switch that enables you to choose your operating CFM, be it either 10 CFM or 20 CFM. The main power to the system is located here as well. The system includes an EPIC Inverter 6000, converting 48 volt DC to 120 volt AC output power. This allows you to use additional electric tools or charge your tools' batteries while you're on a job site. In addition, the EPIC DC to DC converter converts 12 volt input to 48 volt output to charge the element battery while you're driving. 120 volt shore power is also available, enabling you to slowly charge the element battery overnight using a standard 120 volt outlet. The EPIC system is controlled by the EPIC Smart Controller and is designed to intelligently monitor and control all EPIC system components. Before starting up the system, there are a couple of safety pre-checks we need to review. Make sure the oil sight glass on the EPIC Air 20 has the proper amount of oil. The compressor is full when the oil level is at the halfway mark on the sight glass. If needed, remove the yellow fill cap and using a funnel, top off the sight glass using Van Air's reciprocating compressor oil. Also, ensure that there are no power tools or other electrical machinery plugged into the system prior to startup. Make sure that the air toggle switch on a smart controller display is in the middle or off position and that the air reservoir tank has been depleted of all air. Press and hold the gray button next to the three-way toggle controller to turn the EPIC system on. The system will become active and automatically go through a series of welcome screens, battery conditions, and system checks on the smart controller display. On the display, you'll see battery icons depending on how many batteries your system has. This screen will show the percentage of charge for each battery. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the battery voltage. The amperage the system is outputting currently is located in the upper right-hand corner. A negative amperage input is how the industry recognizes the input charge going into the battery. If shore power is connected to the vehicle, a lightning bolt will be displayed on each element battery icon. This indicates the battery is charging and what percentage the battery is being charged. It is highly recommended that the batteries be fully charged prior to leaving for the day's activities. Note, if using the shore power connection, Make sure to disconnect the cord from the van's charge port prior to driving away. On the home screen, you'll see illuminated buttons on the left and right sides of the display. These indicate active functionality to use for operating the system. If we push the information key, you'll see more buttons on the left side of the controller are illuminated. These buttons will give you more functionality to help manage the overall system. The first screen shows battery 1 and displays all 16 cells in this battery. As the system begins to come online, these cells begin to equalize. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see the word cycles. This indicates how many times the battery has been charged from a completely dead battery to fully charged, or one cycle. This number will continue to increase as the system is used over time. On the bottom right side of the screen, you'll see the abbreviation MWH, or megawatt hours. This is how much power has been pulled out of the battery when in use. This number will increase over time based on the loads that are placed on the battery. Using the directional arrows on the keypad, you can scroll to the right and see additional information, including the discharge and charge limits of the system. The sleep button is like a screensaver on your computer. The system is still on, just in a rest state, 
and can be brought back on by pressing any button. If we press the Information button, you'll see the Contact button on the left side of the screen. This will give you information on any service or parts information needed to keep your system up and running. The Home button will bring you back to the home screen. The Settings button is located on the upper right of the display. Using the directional arrows on the keypad, you'll have the ability to change some of the parameters that have been built into your system. Pushing the Power button on the Smart Controller display will completely shut off the system. Once you arrive at the job site or service call, make sure to turn on the main control switch on your electrical panel. Press and hold the gray button above the three-way toggle controller. The system's smart controller display will turn on and automatically go through a series of welcome screens, battery conditions, and system checks on the smart controller display. At this time, all electrical systems will be on, as well as all interior lights in the vehicle's cabin. If using pneumatic air tools, connect them to the air discharge connection. These tools should be in the off position. To engage the EPIC Air 20 air compressor system, be sure the toggle switch is in the middle or off position. Depending on how much air power you'll need for the job, you will be able to choose between 10 and 20 CFM settings. Turn the switch to the CFM required and the EPIC Air 20 air compressor will engage and begin to build pressure as long as the tank pressure is under the cut-in set point or the tank is empty. Your system and any pneumatic air tools can now be turned on. The home screen will show how much amperage you're using at the CFM you've chosen. Each element battery is a 100 amp hour battery. Once tank pressure is built, the Air 20 reciprocating compressor will shut off at maximum pressure and then restart depending on your PSI differential. This typically is 30 PSI lower than the cutout compressor's maximum pressure of 150 PSI. After you're finished with the compressor, shut off your machinery and any air tools. Once you're done for the day, make sure the CFM toggle switch is in the off position. Power off the system using the power off button on the smart controller. When work is completed for the day, your air reservoir tank is full and the Air 20 has shut off. Slowly turn the air service knob counterclockwise to release any air that may be left in the air reservoir tank. Once the air is completely depleted, close the knob by turning it clockwise. Open the tank drain to release any water. These two steps should be done at the end of each day when the EPIC system is in use. After turning on the main electrical switch on your control panel, all electrical systems should be on except the EPIC smart controller. Turn on the EPIC inverter system in the same manner you would using the air compressor system. Press and hold the gray button above the three-way toggle controller. The system's smart controller display will turn on and automatically go through a series of welcome screens like before. Check to make sure your EPIC inverter has power. There is also an on-off switch on the actual inverter which can be used. Plug your electric power tool into the 120 volt receptacle and turn your tool on. When finished, Turn off your electric tool, unplug it from the EPIC inverter, and shut down the EPIC system using the power off button on the smart controller display. When operating the EPIC Air 20 system, be sure the air compressor is full of oil prior to operating. If the compressor oil is low, remove the yellow fill cap and using a funnel, Top off the sight glass using Van Air's reciprocating compressor oil. The compressor is full when the oil level is at the halfway mark on the sight glass. Also, be sure to fully recharge the element batteries each time prior to the next day's activities. It is typical to recharge the system using the EPIC shore power connector. Plug this into a standard 120 volt outlet and then plug this into the charge port on your vehicle. Start the EPIC system up by pressing and holding the gray on button. 
Note, the smart controller display must be on to charge your system. If possible, turn off any EPIC equipment, such as the inverters and converters. This will increase the speed to fully charge your system. Turn the main switch to the off position on the electrical control panel. This too will increase the speed to fully charge your system. If you have any questions, please contact your nearest service location.